So this was the first notebook that I did in trying to get my project off the ground. A mapping project on the old city split, which is comprised of the Diocletian complex as well as the first expansion, what I call the first expansion, which is all of the stores and alleys and streets that came up after the Diocletian complex. I don't know when because I don't have that history. And so I thought, if I finished a whole notebook, I would show you what some of my data looks like. The raw data that I use to for my mapping project, which is now slowly beginning to get filled in. And it's not yet complete. And the big part of it is going to be the actual map, which I had some problems with. Uh, part of it is I'm working with paper. I don't have uh, the yardstick rulers that we have in the U.S. Um, the really long rulers that you can use. I haven't been able to find one of those. And so I'm not sure how I'm going to create the lines so they're balanced uh, and not all over the place. So clean lines. But I have some other data because so now I have a printer which I got very cheap and so I was thinking possibly of basically creating all the sections that I want um, using some basic tools uh, and then shaping all that onto the actual map with tape, which I can find easily. Uh, so that's my plan for this week. And I'm once I get the data, I have all the data I'm doing right now and updating is from this first notebook. But I had wanted to get this filmed as well because I always find it interesting to see what how people do the work that they do. And this is simply the idea. And if I'm talking, it's because there are quite a bit of pages. And I don't want to keep you completely bored if you're actually paying attention to all of this and going through the whole video, assuming you're actually looking at it. Uh, you can see some of the maps that I tried to draw by hand as I was walking to give me orientation to where things were. Uh, so one of my interests is to then take the actual map that I have maps and try to, f and I have some of the names of the streets, but for my purposes I was just calling them one, two, or alleys because it was easier. Because what it essentially should happen is that the map that I create should match up with the first map, um, with the only real difference being that I'm going to have additional names of streets alleys, that kind of thing. Um, and then, of course, all of the store data so you can actually track and find out where the stores are if you decide you want to come to Split or you just are interested in specific kinds of stores and ideas of price ranges, that kind of thing. And I do have some videos I'm planning to put up of uh, some singers, but so far I've only found uh, two. I'm not sure if there are any more. So it may just end up being the two. But I had, at the time I did that, I was planning to have five. And some of these, a lot of them are crossed out because I had trouble trying to figure out uh, based on where I was standing. And then I would move and it wouldn't make sense. So then I would do it again. And in some cases, I it took me two or three, four times to finally get something that actually matched how the streets looked, and not just from a walking perspective, but also in relation to the other streets. So if I was going one direction and I realized, oh wait, that doesn't connect that way, I would have to go back and refigure out where I went wrong. So this is what you would call, I guess, surveying work. I call it just mapping, which is getting information, except that I'm creating the information. I'm not 
um, using my already existing information and check, checking it off a list, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the guide I have in terms of trying to figure out a little bit of where I am it is the tourist map. And I have permission to use it for non commercial the sections that I'm looking at for my project, but I don't want to post that either until I get my own map up. Just for the winter averages, I used 158 stores. Um, because not all the stores were uh, open when I went by them, or the people in them didn't speak English well enough, or in some cases I was specifically asked not to share the price information, which was fair. Um, so I didn't have the full data. But it still gives a good idea of what you might spend in a winter season. That was just a small part. I'm not actually really sure why I decided to collect all the store information. Uh, that was a different aim, and I just went along with it, so I'm still not sure if I'm going to finish that part of it or just go into the next phase. But all of that will be decided once I actually get a map done to see how it looks, because that'll be the main thing. If I can't figure out how to get my map to work the way I need it to, then it doesn't really matter to me if I go much further. So this is notebook one of my Old City Split mapping project.